So can you talk a little bit about what you think your style says about you? I'm messy, you know, I'm not, I'm not polished. Like I just, I like like big things. Just like ratty, I like being like a little rascal when I, when I dress. When you walk into a casting, traditionally, if you're going for a traditional plus size job, usually they're looking for someone who's kind of like a bombshell, relatable, sweet, and just like, I just feel like it's not necessarily what I am because I'm sure I don't have boobs, like things like that that traditionally wouldn't even be like, seen at, like I wouldn't even be seen as a model. If I didn't have my personality, I don't really think I would be very successful. You got your scarf? Yeah. Can you talk about like assumptions that you think people make about you based on like, like what they see of you publicly? What do you think they assume that may or may not be true? I tried to make my Instagram as true to myself as possible and it is. I mean, not even as possible, it is just true to myself. Like, I posted like a picture of me crying the other day on Insta story. My friends were like, calm down. I'm like, I'm just being real. Like, <laughs> People think that I'm morbidly obese. Like, they, 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 they'll be like, as a matter, it's a fact you are obese. There are housewives writing essays on Facebook. Like, essay, there's essays written like about how obesity, obesity is being promoted and how I'm gonna kill the children. The funny thing is, yeah. most of these women are my size. It's, I don't know what it is, it's maybe because it's so unheard of to be okay with yourself that they're like, what's wrong with you? Like, I feel bad about myself, why don't you feel bad about yourself? Like, that's just not fair. I hated myself more than I hated anything else in the world at one point. When I was 15, I lost 30 pounds. It was definitely like an obsessive moment. It's so normal to see like a People magazine like, oh, like, gained 40 pounds, looks like a whale, like things like that. It's just certain things that you subconsciously just add up. Like a year later, I finally, I started gaining a little bit of weight. At that time, like gaining the weight back was the most embarrassing thing in the entire world that could ever happen to me. So if I gained like three pounds, I would literally like, like snot dripping cry. I know that I'm more attractive now than I've ever been, but to this day, I have like this like fear of me walking in and being like, oh, you know, I hope this person doesn't notice that I went from a size 12 to a 14. Like, you know, I hope they don't think I'm ugly. I try to think more rationally, but it's just really hard when it's something that's so deep rooted in you. How did you feel like when you lost all the weight? Did you, like, did your life change? Were people nicer? You, like, how did your- Hell yeah. I, I mean, I, I could stay here and lie to you guys and say that, you know, nothing changed. <laughs> I, for sure, developed into the attractive person, the conventionally attractive person I am today, for sure. I, even though I've gained weight back, I've lost, gained everything, I just feel like the attractiveness that I got from that stuck because I eventually you know, realized, I was like, I'm, I can be confident regardless of me gaining this weight back or losing it, whatever. But you struggle with anxiety. Uh, no, oh my God, my anxiety is so bad. And it's like, my anxiety is so horrifying. I'm so crazy. Like, I call people 30 times in a row. No, like, no, like, I no record, like, I won't even think about it. I'll be like, you didn't answer me? Answer it. Uh, I'll do it for 30 minutes. I mean, I get mad at every call. I get madder at every call. And like, it gets more aggressive. Like, I'm just like, I don't have like these rules that like in 2017 that you have to follow. Like, that's not a thing that I do. And these boys just like, they're so used to girls who like act like they're not emotionally attached or they're too cool for you or you know like letting them do whatever the fuck they want and like that's absolutely not happening. <laughs> I feel like guys, they they have this idea of me a lot of the times and they fall in love with that idea. And then What's they, the idea? I don't know, like a uh, Instagram baddie, a thick baddie, whatever they think. You know, it's like some some bit, some down bitch, whatever. I don't even know what the fuck they think of me, but it just. <laughs> That's not who I am. As soon as they start realizing that I'm a real person with real issues and real like needs, it's like, whoa. Right. The thing is, I grew up with only women. And when I say only women, I mean uh, my mom, my grandma, and a horde of Brazilian lesbians. So it's just like, I've never, I don't even know what men want. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> so I, all I can be is myself. I really don't even know what, what they want from me. In terms of like intimate moments like and body, like do you, how do you feel about your body? I'm very okay with it, but I have to say that with my new stretch marks, I have been thinking a little bit about it. You know, I'm not to cry to think about them because they're so fucking crazy. It's just like, it's one of those things that I haven't dealt with yet. You know, I was just, I was shooting something and this lady, the stylist was like, oh my God, like, you know, very concerned about my, my, my hip. I was like, did you scratch yourself? Do you, do you need anything? And I'm just like, those are just my stretch marks. 
And I know she didn't mean anything by it. But, the, but these people, they don't always work with curve models. I mean, I got asked to wear Spanx with sports leggings. It was a group of like five girls and they took me aside and they were like, hey, could you wear some Spanx? Under, the under leggings, under like athletic gear. You know, I'm doing editorials where I'm the only fat girl there, but. The token. The token or like something like that. Like, you know, where I'm not, the, the majority is in plus size women. And it's just the things that happen in within those spaces, like can be very overwhelming. Or even people just like saying things for like, oh, the catering's right, nice, you know? The catering's oh. the same quinoa bullshit in every fucking studio. Or like they'll buy a chocolate cake and like, it, like they pressure me into eating it and I'm like, maybe I don't want the cake. I usually don't want the cake when I'm working. This industry is so toxic. It's like with it for anyone, straight size, curvy, I mean, especially if you're black and curvy. Oh my God, like the things that happen, like, they're unheard of. It's just things that you can't, like, I don't understand why black models have to bring their own makeup and their own, like, tools. Like, why are you not trained to do everybody's hair, yet your entire job? It's actually so irresponsible that we, especially to young women, like, destroy them before they even are, like, into the world, before they're even, like, full adults. We destroy them completely. And I just, I know because I, I lived that. When was the last time you cried? Um, that's why I cried. Um, two days ago. Why? Um, I cried because I... <laughs> I... broke up with this boy that I don't really like much, but I do like him. Mm -hmm. I kind of forced him to break up with me because I did a crazy thing and like called him 600 times and blocked him and then called him. You know, I just did something. <laughs> I was obviously going through like an anxious moment and like I really wanted to talk to him and like seek comfort from someone that I like was romantically interested in and he just wasn't giving me any of that, like none, like no help. So I just was screaming on the phone at him and just being like, good luck with all your basic hoes for the rest of your life. <laughs> Men are the only thing that doesn't make sense to me. I never had like a long term relationship where I was like destroyed. I never did any of that. But I've been through a lot of like uh, mini abusive relationships that just like, I don't know, they just really fucked me up. Sucks. Totally It doesn't actually fit me. You want to say something funny? Can you hide it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was it's like, this is really the bone bra I have. Actually, I would wear a bra if I had a bra like that. If you could like dream up what the fashion industry that you would like like to work in looked like, what would it look be? I think just overall accepting people, accepting the fact that people are all different and that there's beauty in all of it, and it's not like a cliche, like oh, like the, everybody's there's beauty in everything. It's completely socially irresponsible to market your your brand or whatever to a certain like race or you know it just it, or excluding people it's just not cool especially when they're taking other people's culture and then putting like a white model in there i'm just like you guys are crazy if you're hiring a white model to do like a chinese shoot that means you literally didn't try like for five seconds to look for a chinese model this idea that like white beauty is like this like the is like the, 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 the blanket of all beauty. Like it's like, that's like the base of beauty and everything else is just like a niche. That's not how it is. It's, that's also a niche in and of itself, being like white and skinny and tall and young. And if people don't even realize that it's, it's not okay to only see a certain type of beauty on every ad everywhere. It's not okay, that, that really does sink in. It's not just like, that's not just how it goes. It's not like how fashion is. Like people, oh, that's just how it is. It's like, no, that's not how it is. Like how it is is what people buy into. Yeah. Say like, I love you all though. They're super cute. The color and then with the bra. It's really cute. Why in your body, in your skin, in your journey? 
why, why is it a good place to be? It really taught me how to be who I am. I think I owe everything to the fact that I look like this. When I was younger, I was like, I'm, if I'm gonna be successful, I have to lose 30 pounds. And the fact that I'm successful, not only despite it, but because of it, is like oh my God. blown exactly. out of my mind. Yeah. I didn't think I was allowed to be happy in my body. I didn't think I was allowed to live my life in my body unless I was perfect. Um, so it taught me a lot of lessons and I learned a lot from my body. So much. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was so thank beautiful. You. How do you feel now? I feel great. That was really like, amazing. Oh, thank you. That was so sweet. Thank, thank you, you guys. So, so much. We're going to with you because now I'm, yeah, I'm, about... I'm taking pictures of you now. Okay, in my, in my then, Nikki. Um, do you want some water or tea or anything? And also food. We're going to get some food. Oof, and um, 